Owners from all walks of life convened at the homes of the late social and political critic, who was also a former private secretary to the president. I've known Mirundi for the last, I think, 24 years. He has been a true friend. Nobody has ever supported the President Museveni and the NRM like Tamari Mirundi. Mirundi will defend the NRM and the President Museveni. Joseph Brasio Tamale Mirundi passed on last night at Chisubi Hospital after his health had deteriorated. The atmosphere was somber filled with grief among the mourners. <laughs> During the funeral rites held in Zan and Chengera, speakers praised the late Tamale's legacy, particularly his significant contributions to the journalism profession. <laughs> Frank Agashumba, a long-time friend of the late Mirondi, renowned for his commentaries on mainstream and social media, a trend also shared by the foreign commentator, shared memories of Tamale Mirondi. Trust me, you remember the Baganda have a saying, wakule nume wakule mu. nobody can ever replace Tamale Mirondi. He was all around, very hilarious. You get it? And he was a good timekeeper. Look at a person at his age. He would do radio shows on Beat, Radio 4, everywhere. You get it? We just have a, a dead generation. Gashumba remarked that the late Mirundi died a sad and miserable man. He was so, so, so disappointed. He was thrown out of State House. Trust me, Mirundi has not died over here, lung failure. No, no, no. He has died of depression. I know sometimes he had no fuel. But you would see convoys of senior ministers and top government officials with the leaders, with the lead cars and the rest. So the message is very simple. Let's learn to appreciate, to appreciate people when they are still alive. So even if government foots the entire bill. A veteran journalist, Mirundi's loss, according to Gashumba, will leave a significant void in the media fraternity. We no longer have investigative journalism in Uganda. It died a long time ago. Long time ago. We just have masqueraders now. We don't have. It's in Uganda where you'll find a, a journalist who will come to interview you asking you, what's your name, blah, blah, blah. Because I think before you can even come for an interview, you must do, you must do preps. Who is this person? Kampala residents, especially those who appreciated his commentary, will remember him as a straightforward man who always called a spade a spade. <laughs> Although many have referred to him as a knowledgeable person, others knew him as a man full of controversies and humor. This was evident in his speeches. For instance, in a verbal will before his death, he said, my children will buy my ghost a brand new car and let it drink as a sip of beers. A series of requiem masses and vigil prayer services will continue in memory of the late Tamale Mirundi until his official send-off on Sunday at his ancestral home in Matale Kalagala village, Kalisezo Town Council, Chotera District. A requiem mass will be held at St. Javira Catholic Church in Bunamaya tomorrow at 10 a.m. I'm Ivan Juko and Viola Nakasaga for UBC. <laughs>